Hello Flyers, this is Rob Chisholm at Free Flight Brighton. I'm going to explain how to go from here at the ridge height to here to cloud base. How can that be achieved? Well let's take a site known as Mount Caban for instance, takes a southwest wind, the air is coming from the Azores. So, what can we tell? Well first of all, ridge lift on top of Mount Caban. It's a bit sparse because it's a conical shaped hill. The white circles mark the areas of ridge lift. On this particular day the wind was coming from the southeast east and drifting over to the west so it's against all the rules really southwest for Caban this is an east so what do you need to do locate the areas of temperature difference being blue for cold and red for warm or hot. Now the thermal activity is hiding behind those trees there, it's in, it's in that area, it's a bit sheltered, it can heat up a little bit more than the surrounding air, so they're good areas to find thermals. The pond area or boggy area is generally a little bit cooler than the surrounding air uh, around there, so thermal activity generally takes place here during the course of the day. Now what we've done is I've gone on the green glider, so if you follow the yellow, that's me and Chris is on the white. I've asked him to keep to my left so when I make my right turn we can both 360 together. I'm there on the green glider and Chris is taking the video here on his glider. So the thermal is one, two, three. They start small and then they get bigger. So we must stay inside that thermal and near the ground they are small. Remember it's not a ridge soaring day. So to stay in the thermal activity low down and learning how to 360 is a big part of thermaling. Chris here does not stay in entirely in the thermal and he's left down below. But that's not a problem because he does later come back in and you'll see that in the video in a moment. What I'm going to do is just explain how do I do this. Generally I take off um, a tandem and teach you all of the basics then I ask you to come solo and follow look at what I'm doing it's a forward it's not much of a wind day and uh, th these thermal activities can be used in these conditions you don't need to ridge saw to thermal so I'll leave you with the rest of the video and watch how Chris gets on many thanks for viewing Alright, this is Chris, it's just taken off together basically, hopefully go around in this thermal, you do not wish to be cut up by other pilots, it's ours. Go on tighter! What he wants to do is get it tight, keep it flatter if you can, keep an eye out for all other pilots. There we go, got a bank inside, I could go tighter now, but I'd cut underside Chris. Okay, got to watch out for the yellow glider there, it's Alison on my left. Interestingly enough, the drift is to the oops, west, and that means yeah, the air is coming, not southwest, it's wafty air is coming from the east. Almost tempted to push out because it's very annoying to stay in air like this because it's just not wholesome, it's broken. So this is how Chris got on. I think he did very well. There's the top of Mount Caban. There's plenty of people sitting there, so Chris is still relatively low air time. I, I'm not sure of his air time, but probably 30, 40 hours, I guess. And he's doing really well considering. So he's up there with a handful of other people that have basically taken off in light winds and gone to thermal. So, you know, well done, Chris, and uh, we'll hopefully see some more video of you flying and keep it safe. Many thanks for being a good student.